In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best LinkedIn content strategy for 2023 heading into 2024. This is the exact strategy that I've personally used to grow my LinkedIn following to over 17,000 people. And more importantly, the strategy that has generated me over $3 million in sales for my agency, Hey Digital, without having to be salesy or send a single cold email. If you're running an agency or any service-based business, creating content on LinkedIn is a no-brainer. I know you're probably all looking for a quick hack, but there just isn't one. Sending thousands of emails, smashing all those cold calls, hiring a bunch of appointment setters, these things just aren't sustainable and do absolutely nothing to position you or your business as experts in your field. So why do I think LinkedIn is the golden ticket for building a personal brand? To be honest, it's pretty simple. People, they want to work with people and LinkedIn is a place where your future clients get to see the brains behind your operation, where your personality becomes your agency's superpower. Creating this engaging content on LinkedIn, it doesn't just amplify your personal and your business brand, it really humanizes it. It gives your potential clients a peek behind the curtain, showing them your expertise, your values, your passion. This is just completely priceless because it creates trust, credibility, and a community of people who are genuinely interested in what you bring to the table. Later in this video, I'm going to be giving away a collection of my best performing LinkedIn posts, as well as all of the tools that I use to make generating leads on LinkedIn super easy. You can steal them to grow your following, start generating leads, and grow your agency or your service business. The first most important thing is setting up your LinkedIn LinkedIn profile. To show you a couple of examples of what I think are good quality LinkedIn profiles, first of all is my one. Keep it focused on the benefits to your potential customer, what you offer them, what your business does. Make it all about them rather than all about you. Don't have your LinkedIn as your personal resume. Instead, treat it like a sales page. So we have this nicely designed header. Our agency, Hey Digital, is a SaaS performance marketing agency. So you see that here. We make sure we have featured content, which is highlighting, in this case, a case study with a very popular brand. So hot jar, some reactions to client work, some videos, etc. Then you'll see my posts, which we'll get to later. Nice solid about section. Most people aren't going to expand this to read through. So it is longer, but try and make the first two sentences capture the attention of your potential agency clients. So here, Hey Digital, you can see how we structure that in this section. So in my opinion, this is a good example to show you a couple others. So this guy here, Dan Knowlton, you can see from landing on his profile exactly what he does, what his service is, how he helps other businesses, with trackable ROI from video and social media marketing. Again, maximizing this uh, header space, examples of work, and a little bit of a story here. One final example, Brendan Hufford. I believe this guy is either running a SaaS content agency or is freelancing or something like this because he's focused on a giveaway. Nice headline, exploring how SaaS companies actually get customers. One other thing that I wanted to say is make sure you have a link here and name this something like work with Hey Digital. Brendan had my newsletter, 65% open rate. Like you can use use this space pretty effectively. For me, if someone clicks on this, they actually go straight to the cool scheduling page on our website. Okay, so next we are going to talk about planning and writing your content, the most important part of this video. And this is something that I'm going to walk you through the different types of content that we use. And we have a few different types. So frameworks, comment giveaways, case studies, highlighting client work, some filler posts, some personal posts about the journey. So I'm going to go through each one of these one by one and start to share how I think about content strategy on LinkedIn. Now, if you're the kind of person who wants to have this huge, well-built out plan before you start posting content, you can do that, but I'm going to encourage you not to do this because it will keep you from actually posting. You'll be always stressing about, hey, I need to have everything planned out, etc. I would say to everyone, aim to have seven to 10 days worth of posts ready to go. However, if you are struggling with that, if you do really need a plan, you need some content ideas. I found this advanced LinkedIn content plan generator, which is like a mega chat GPT prompt. You fill in some information. You can see here about you, about your audience, your content pillars, etc. And it will output like a bunch of different topics and ideas. It won't write the content for you, but I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump onto my LinkedIn profile, screen share, help me explain what we're doing, why we're doing it, etc. Okay, so this is a great example of a giveaway post. Now, what you can see here, these were very popular on Twitter, maybe six to nine months ago. People were running these things like comment, or retweet or like, and then you receive this in return. It doesn't really work on Twitter now, but it is working on LinkedIn extremely well. So what we did for this particular one is a giveaway of our experimentation ideas backlog. One thing I want to make very clear when you're doing LinkedIn content, it's very easy being a digital marketer to focus on marketing content and writing for other agency owners. Don't do that. Write posts for your target persona. Make everything about them. So any giveaways, frameworks, case studies, filler posts, make it all about stuff that helps 
them do their job better. Our ICP is a marketer within the SaaS company, so everything we're doing is focused on helping them. So we did a giveaway of an experimentation ideas backlog, and you can see if you want the template, just comment ideas and I'll DM it to you, make sure we're connected. This had 95 comments, 5,000 impressions, so not a ton, but generated a good volume for us. And what we did is we gave away this Google Sheet as a reward for entering this. This right here is a cheat sheet for Google Ads for B2B SaaS companies. This is a service that we offer as well. This one, 192 comments, over 200 likes, 40,000 impressions. This really got us in front of a lot of our target persona. I can even show you the actual item that we give away is pretty simple. It didn't take our team at Hey Digital too long to create, but we make sure to highlight a little intro here, link to Hey Digital, and a tab which is about Hey Digital as well. And we treated this like a landing page, as well as sharing some of the other resources that we've given away. So these are the like comment giveaway posts. Then the next one that I'm going to talk about is free frameworks. So this is stuff like this, the bare minimum demand generation strategy for B2B SaaS. You can see very basic LinkedIn posts, but again, great engagement, 8,000 impressions, some nice likes. And we just took a mirror board and turned it into something that looks kind of nice, but it's very basic, prospecting, retargeting, etc. But people seem to love this kind of stuff. And you can see lots of engagement. Another example of a free framework is right here. We did a breakdown of Asana's go-to-market ad strategy in a three-part series. We were just giving away their framework via simple one-pager images here. And again, very straightforward, very basic, but super focused on our ICP, working extremely well. So far, we have free frameworks and we have comment giveaways. The giveaways work extremely well, but don't run any more than one or two of these a week because they lose their value. Then the next important thing is highlighting your client work, whether it's case studies or just general highlights. Here is an example of us doing this. We're sharing some ad creative that we've done for a client. The reason we do these, they get less engagement, but it's a reminder to people that this is the service that we deliver and it impresses them. We also have another example of this right here. I shared a video that our creative team worked on one of our client videos for a company called Polar Analytics. And again, less engagement, but highlighting the awesome work that our team does. It reminds people that we exist. It reminds them what we do. So these are the case studies or highlighting client work. Then the next one is filler posts about your industry and your ICP. So these are ones where you don't want to spend a bunch of time creating a cheat sheet, a giveaway, but you still want to post on LinkedIn every day because I recommend posting every single day, at least once a day. I've actually found twice a day doesn't have the same benefits. So I would start once a day and schedule out seven to 10 days worth of content. But filler posts will be ones like this. So publishing pricing on the website, yes or no. This took me 30 seconds to write and I'm going to show you actually exactly how I wrote this. I use this tool called Post Trips, which is an AI powered LinkedIn tool. And I'll show you how I use it. So I'll go to like write new post and then I'll go onto the AI writer and I will do post generator and I'll do like landing pages for SaaS and why they are so crucial for Google Ads performance. And I'll say SaaS marketers, and then I'll choose conversational, I'll hit generate. And then a few seconds later, I have a LinkedIn post written for me. These are really great quality as well. These are great for filler posts. And then all I do is I hit add to queue and it adds it to my queue, it schedules it for me. You see on the left, I use this literally every day for my content. So this is a great tool for scheduling your LinkedIn content and it's only $20 a month right now. Then the next kind of post that we have is personal posts about you and your agency or your business's journey. I don't put these in too often, maybe once every two weeks, but these are the ones that help you expand your audience sometimes beyond your core ICP that you're selling to. However, we don't want to do that too much because we don't want a load of people connecting to you that aren't relevant for your business. But this is a good way to expand your audience and to connect on a deeper level with potential clients. So one example of this, I actually wrote one of these a few days ago. Someone else wrote a post just like this. And to be honest, I saw theirs. I took it as inspiration. I changed a few things took a picture of me and my dog and it popped off. Over 150 people liked this. And I just wrote this post about bootstrapping and how building a business is hard and difficult, but it's so worth it. And I wouldn't want to raise any funding or anything like this. Again, I actually wrote this with the help of post trips and didn't take me too long. I also did one of these a few weeks ago about my previous like career as a elite taekwondo athlete. This one didn't go down as well, but it's good to test with these things. And then another example of like a personal post could be something to do 
with building your team or where you're at on your journey, anything like this. So these are the like core types of posts that I focus on. Again, free frameworks, comment giveaways, case studies and highlighting client work, filler posts about your industry, your ICP, and then personal posts about you and your agency journey. With these, with the help of post strips, like if you use that thing that I shared to help you with content planning, this would generate you a bunch of ideas. And then you could take these ideas, like you can see here on the screen, metrics for e-commerce stores. You could literally just put that into the post writer in post strips and you'd have your posts done. So with these two things, it should be very easy for you to generate a load of content for your LinkedIn. This is the kind of content that's going to help you grow your business, but it will only work if you show up consistently every single day. But as well as this, you have to do some other things. You have to engage, connect and follow up with your audience. If you're brand new to LinkedIn, it's a new profile. You have no connections or less than 500. You need to be connecting with people every single day who match your ICP. The reason being is you want them to be seeing your content. Don't send them a bunch of messages just yet, but connect with them every day. Set yourself a goal, connect with 10 people, 15 people. Then go ahead and leave comments on their posts, but don't make them shitty like one sentence or one word comments. Leave deep, insightful comments. Ask questions, do follow-ups. Don't use these AI generating comment tools because they create a bunch of like noise on LinkedIn and really crappy comments. And then the other thing to do is connect and follow up with anyone who engages on your posts. So for example, let's go to this one, getting started with Google ads for your B2B SaaS. I've got 114 people that have engaged with this or liked this. And then what we want to do is if we're not already connected, connect with them, go visit their profile, click on them, send a connection request if you're not connected already. You can send them a message. I wouldn't do it immediately. What I personally tend to do is wait like three or four days or a week or so to follow up so they don't feel like we're spamming them because your content is doing the work for you. Your content is following up with the people for you. They're seeing you frequently. Some people ask whether they should use automated LinkedIn tools for messaging. Don't do it. It's just like cold email. You're hoping to get some quick wins and most of the time it doesn't happen. Just manually follow up with people. But if you're posting content, follow up with people that are engaging with you because they're already warm. Like, look, I literally have a lead from today. Are you doing any AdWords management right now for B2B SaaS companies? And another one from last night, someone sharing what MRR they're at. You can see we have a SaaS. Another one right here from yesterday, like three leads in the last 12 hours right here. Now, remember, this isn't going to work overnight. You have to show up consistently to make any impact on LinkedIn. But once you do, it's so worth it and so much more sustainable than any other channel. And as promised, for those of you who have hung around with me to the end of this video, I'm more than happy to to share a collection of my best performing LinkedIn posts with you, go and find them linked in the video description. By the way, if you're a digital marketing agency owner who is doing over 10K a month and you dream of building your agency into a cash flowing asset that can pave the way for future ventures like that SaaS idea you've been dreaming of, but you're stuck on the hamster wheel of day-to-day -day tasks and just don't know what steps to take to get out of that, I was in your position just a few years ago. And since then, I've been able to take Hey Digital from 20K a month to one and a half million dollars in ARR. I'm going to help five of you scale and build out your operations so that you can reach that $1 million per year mark. If you're interested, go ahead and book a call using the link in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Oh, and by the way, YouTube thinks you need to watch this video up here. So let's see if they're right.